Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and today we have a problem we have to fix. My Pitman arm on the 356 mower finally gave up after many, many years. And so, that's what we're going to tackle today. So lean back in your chair, make sure you have your favorite beverage, and here we go! So, as you may imagine, you cannot go to the store and just pick up a Pitman arm that fits a 356 Oliver mower. And I had to hunt and hunt on the internet to find a blank one, which I managed to do finally from, I think it was Tractor Supply. So we have some homework here to do to make this work because the Pitman actually has a cut in it so that this piece here uh, will fit inside of it and then you got your little straps here as braces so we have to cut this slit to start with and then we can do this end and then we will work on that end and the trick is you have to make sure that you get it the right length and that the sickle sections are in the center of the guards as I've talked about before when they change direction Otherwise, it won't cut as good. So I'm going to have to tap this back a little bit. And I might end up having to tap it that way. I don't know where it was on its uh, stroke as it broke. So that's one thing we're going to have to do. But the first thing we're going to have to do is cut the slit in this piece of wood. So we'll try to line it up here and get that done. So the idea is we don't want to cut more than we have to, but we want to make sure we cut enough. So I'm thinking that it's going to be right about in this area is as long as we need it. So we'll have to draw our center line down the center and then saw it perfectly, uh, you know, in the center. So we'll get working on that. Well, I cut it a little bit wider than I wanted to, but that's fine. I think I did the same thing last time and it seemed to work. So we'll get these bolts out. Find a place to put them where we don't lose them. battery that's why let's try a battery that's charged let's try a battery that has two bars let's try that and then we'll switch to a better one that works it's just going great today just so good probably be cool if I let you in on the action but you know that's overrated come on off of there One more. Come on. There we go. Let's test fit my extremely too wide of gap. I 
can squeeze it together. I'm not really worried about it. Huh, okay. make a mark that the end of it is right there where we wanted it If we were going to cut hay with this, we'd have to do a lot more uh, precision work. But for what I use it for, this will work fine. So, we're about yay far from the end. That looks about right. There we go. Drill us some five sixteenths holes and we'll be in business. What you're going to want to do is find the dullest bit you can to drill through this extremely hard wood. Sure. I hope you hit the center on the back side. Much better ways to do this do not necessarily assume that this is the right way because eh, it's pretty shady my straps line up though but I think I'm gonna put some washers in between to take up some of the gap where I screwed up and cut it too wide I think I did that before I'll go hunt some stuff, then we'll put this in back together. All right, well, that's not my best work, but it will work for this application. Like I said, if it was for hay cutting all day long every day, I don't know that it would be good, but this is a $40 piece of wood, so we're gonna make it go. Now we need to put this all the way, one way, and we will measure what we need on this end and drill our holes for that. So, 
we've got some work to do here. We need to cut it to length as well as we've got to cut this off because it's too long and then get our whole pieces drilled in and all that. So, and we have to drill a hole in the end for the spring thing to go in. So let me get a marker. Let's just put a mark here. That needs to go. Then let's just put some guess marks. That's about where they need to be. We'll pop the iron off of there and then we'll get that done. Now we're back in the shade again. We'll just take these off. Well, I thought I had them loose, but. cool thing is I can't get in there to do anything well I don't quite remember it being that difficult the last time I did this about seven or eight years ago but we got it done we just need to see if it'll work and we'll take it out and try to mow with it you can see what happened to this one it just pulled it all all apart so pretty rotten old stick but We'll give it a try here, and if it looks like it's going to work, we'll go out and finish mowing uh, along the ditch where it broke. So, here we go.
I think we'll say that's a success. It does cut and I was able to finish the mowing along the ditches that I couldn't the other day because it broke. So that uh, is a good thing that this is back in service. As always, if you enjoy the videos, go ahead and give them a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.